Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here. Quick update on the storms that will develop later this afternoon and kind of a recurring theme. It's not going to be a washout kind of day for everybody the next few days, but these afternoon evening storms are going to have the potential to produce some really heavy rain. Let me show you the setup here. That stalled front that we've been talking about, I think, for about the last three days isn't really moving much. You can see it up there to the north. It's really causing some issues in the Ohio Valley up into parts of Kentucky, uh, West Virginia and Virginia. That's an area obviously we were worried about yesterday. I kind of hinted at that was an area for flash flooding and you can see the risk continuing today. Let me show you a couple things first. We'll start with the severe weather outlook. Um, let's go to today. So today's severe weather outlook, you see the yellow shaded in yellow there. I'm going to turn off the satellite image. So that includes Charlotte area north. There is the risk basically along and south of that front. Tomorrow, that risk will basically be just a little bit further to the west, but essentially the same area and day three, which will actually be Friday. Look at that. Essentially the same spot. So not a lot of movement. That tells you the stationary front is not in a big rush to get out of here. So what about the risk for flash flooding? Well, the flash flood risk, you could see right there, I'll fill it in. Medium risk there. It does include parts of the Western Carolinas, but that area of Eastern Kentucky, Tennessee, West Virginia, big concern. Tomorrow, almost the identical same spot. You're kind of getting a theme here, right? Day three kind of shifts a little bit further south. So that front is going to dictate everything over the next couple of days. It's going to allow for storms to develop along and just south of it. If the front should sag further south, then we will see a much bigger risk for flash flooding in the Carolinas. So let me show you what at least the short range rapid refresh has is looking like into the afternoon and tomorrow. So looking at that short range rapid refresh has a pretty good handle on this morning's thunderstorms and showers. We'll go into the afternoon hours. I'll stop this at three o'clock. Um, you could see what happens here in the Carolinas and we'll focus in the, in the Carolinas and the Southeast storms beginning to bubble up um, in the mountains around three o'clock by four o'clock, a couple more developing by five o'clock. You get the idea, probably not as many as yesterday um, and the day before. And that will likely mean it's going to be pretty hot today. That will allow for more sunshine. So temperature is likely getting into the uh, mid 90s. The reason we're probably going to see less, remember the front is kind of pushed a little bit further north today than it was yesterday. So as we go into tonight, still some heavy downpours in the mountains and foothills. So just a heads up, could see some flash flooding there. We'll go into tonight. You can see the storms kind of dissipate. This will be kind of the pattern dissipating after sunset. Tomorrow morning, we wake up dry again, really hazy, hot, humid day. Temperatures climbing into the mid 90s. But notice tomorrow, it looks like the front, you know, is up in here somewhere. It looks like it sags a little bit further south which means there'll be a better chance for storms developing in and around those areas. So you see by four o'clock tomorrow, again, this is Thursday afternoon, the storms become a little bit more widespread. And then we go into the evening, a bigger cluster up there, but you can see where the real issues are gonna be up to the north with this system. Again, this is a 48 hour rapid refresh. We'll look at this and kind of show you the setup. So let's go just a little bit further into the future um, and kind of show you what goes going out about 60 hours. We'll look at some of the shorter range cams, we call them convective allowing models, basically uh, thunderstorm allowing modeling. So let's look at that. So this guidance is a little bit more all over the place. It doesn't do as well th this morning, but this afternoon it's a little more aggressive with the thunderstorm activity. So I keep an eye on that potential, but what I really wanna see is beyond today because tomorrow looks a little more interesting there. And then let's go into Friday because we can go all the way into Friday now. Um, and you can see the potential there that storms are going to be forming to our west. This is 2 o'clock a Friday afternoon. And the thing that I'm noticing here is the front is sagging south, which is going to drive more showers and storms here, which then could train or move into the Carolinas. So something to keep an eye on going into the weekend. There is a good potential that this front at some point is going to drift to the south. And so over the weekend, the potential for maybe more widespread showers and thunderstorms in the Carolinas. Now, just to show you real quickly, I'm gonna turn off uh, the, uh, the amounts of rain there. And what we're gonna look at here is the rainfall. So I'm gonna go five days, the next five days, we'll look at the what we call the QPF, which is quantitative precipitation forecast. And so what you see here is you could see potentially um, some really significant rain. These areas up in here, let me see if it'll actually let me tally it, but these, these rainfall totals up in here are in the the three, four, five, six, seven inch range. And then in the in the Carolinas, the mountains, you're in the one to three inch range and maybe one to two inches. But wherever this front sets up, that is gonna be where we're gonna have to watch for uh, the potential for flash flooding. So if we start to see this front sag south quicker, that means potential for heavier rainfall sooner. So something to just keep an eye on. Again, let's I'll turn this off real quick and we'll go back to the current radar. 
that's a look at the current radar right now and you can see that rain is up to the north right now and again that will start to pop up later today of course we'll keep an eye on it just please be weather aware if you're near creeks or streams or in a flash flood prone area because this is a pretty significant flood setup um, especially in the mountains and foothills that that front should sag to the south